Coffee Break English, Season 3, Episode 8. Hello and welcome to Coffee Break English. My name's Josie. And I'm Mark, and I'm delighted to be here again for another episode. Me too. And in this episode, we are talking about a very famous and important person in the UK. That's right. I have to say I love watching programmes on the television with this presenter. Mm, me too. What is our language focus for this episode, Josie? In this episode, we're focusing on irregular past tenses. OK, well, let's get on with the lesson and we'll hand over to Susan. Hi, Mark. Hi, Josie. I'm back with another text from the UK. Today, we're finding out about a very famous British man. There's no doubt about it. David Attenborough is a legend in the UK. Known for his distinctive and instantly recognisable voice, he is an incredibly successful presenter and natural historian. His career has been long and impressive. Attenborough is the only person to have won BAFTAs for shows in black and white, colour, HD, 3D and 4K. David is the younger brother of director, actor and Jurassic Park star Richard Attenborough. However, he quickly rose to fame in his own right. At age 24, he applied for a job at the BBC. He was rejected at first, but his CV caught the eye of an executive. And in 1952, he became a producer at the BBC and began his career. He soon presented his first show, a three-part series called Animal Patterns. The show focused on animals at London Zoo and taught people about their behaviour. Attenborough's career continued to progress from there. For a while, he was even director of programming for the BBC. These days, he writes and presents nature documentaries, and his projects are some of the most successful programmes on TV. The public chose a particularly exciting scene from his series, Planet Earth 2, as Britain's TV Moment of the Year in 2017. Conservation is very important to David Attenborough. He is passionate about preserving the planet. And he uses his position to spread the message that we need to take care of our planet. Attenborough has spent years making amazing documentaries and he truly cares about the work he does. He is so legendary that if you ask any Brit for a list of national treasures, David Attenborough will almost certainly be near the top. Thank you, Susan. And as she said, David Attenborough is a national treasure. He is indeed. OK, let's go back through our text and talk about some of the interesting words and vocabulary and irregular past tense verbs in it. Let's go. There's no doubt about it. David Attenborough is a legend in the UK. Yes, so there's no doubt about it. This means this is definitely true. And be careful, the word doubt is spelt D-O-U-B-T. So a silent B there. OK. And he's a legend. He's very, very well known. Yes, exactly. Known for his distinctive and instantly recognisable voice, he is an incredibly successful presenter and natural historian. Yes, so he is known for his distinctive voice. That means his voice is easy to notice and instantly recognisable. So when you hear his voice, you recognise that it is him straight away, immediately. And he is an incredibly successful presenter. What does successful mean, Josie? Yeah, successful means that he has had a lot of success, OK? Success means when you do something and you get money or popularity or happiness or 
what you want, basically. Okay. And he's not only a presenter, he's also a natural historian, isn't he? That's right. So a natural historian is someone who studies plants, animals and other living things. That's right. His career has been long and impressive. Attenborough is the only person to have won BAFTAs for shows in black and white, colour, HD, 3D and 4K. Yes, so he's won BAFTAs. These are like the British Oscars, aren't they? Mm -hmm. And he has been working in television since the days of black and white TV. But he's still working now that we have 4K Ultra HD. That's right. That shows you how long he's been around. David is the younger brother of director, actor and Jurassic Park star Richard Attenborough. However, he quickly rose to fame in his own right. Yes, so he quickly rose to fame. First of all, fame is when you are famous, when lots of people know you and like you. You are a celebrity. And he rose to fame. What's the infinitive of this past tense, Mark? Rose comes from to rise. That's right. So rise, rose, and then risen would be the past participle, and that's irregular. Okay, and then we have an interesting expression. He rose to fame in his own right. That's when he was successful because of his own abilities, uh, not because of other people. That's right. So because of his talent, not because of his brother, this actor, right? At age 24, he applied for a job at the BBC. He was rejected at first, but his CV caught the eye of an executive, and in 1952, he became a producer at the BBC and began his career. Good. This is a long sentence, so let's break it up a little. So, at first, he was rejected from a job at the BBC. That means he was not accepted. He didn't get the job. But his CV, his uh, resume, caught the eye of an executive. What is the infinitive of caught, Mark? That's another irregular past tense. It's from to catch. That's right. Absolutely. So his CV caught the eye. That means that this executive, this big, important boss, saw his CV and he liked it. And then he became a producer. So became is another irregular past tense. That's right. Yep. It comes from? It comes from become. And one interesting thing about this past tense is that usually irregular verbs in English are very short. So we've had rise, rose, catch, caught. They're usually one syllable. But any longer verbs that you see, they're usually related to a shorter verb. So become, it has in it the verb come. Also, we could have forget. This has the word get in it. Or understand has the word stand in it. OK, so David Attenborough became a producer at the BBC. What's a producer, Josie? A producer is someone who produces things, so someone who makes films or TV programmes. OK, and he began his career, so another irregular verb. What's the infinitive of began? The infinitive is begin. So often with irregular verbs, there are no patterns to follow. You just have to learn the irregular verbs. But There are some patterns that we can see. For example, lots of verbs, they change the vowel I in the infinitive to the vowel A in the past simple and the vowel U in the past participle. For example, begin, began, begun. Or we could say sing, sang, sung. That's right. Or drink, drank, drunk. Perfect. Okay. He soon presented his first show, a three-part series called Animal Patterns, 
not verb patterns, but animal patterns. <laughs> the show focused on animals at London Zoo and taught people about their behaviour. Yes, so the show taught people about the animal's behaviour. Taught is very similar to caught that we saw earlier. And the infinitive of taught is teach. OK. And then he taught them about their behaviour or the way in which a person or an animal, in this case, acts or behaves. That's right. OK, let's stop there for a short break and we'll be back soon to find out more about David Attenborough. The Coffee Break English podcast is helping you to improve your understanding of English. We also offer extra resources, which include transcripts of our texts and conversations and vocabulary lists to help you learn even more. To get these extra resources... Just visit coffeebreakenglish.com and sign up for free. Welcome back to Coffee Break English. We are talking about David Attenborough. OK, let's continue our text. Attenborough's career continued to progress from there. Yes, Attenborough's career continued to progress. In this case, progress is a verb. It means to, to develop, to improve. But progress, it could also be a noun, couldn't it? Yeah, and when it's a noun, very interestingly, the stress changes. It's not progress, the verb, it's progress, the noun. Yes, that's right. And there are other verbs and nouns that this works for as well. For example, the verb permit, which means to allow mm -hmm. someone to do something. As a noun, that would be pronounced permit. So like um, your driving license is your permit to drive. Okay. For a while, he was even director of programming for the BBC. These days, he writes and presents nature documentaries, and his projects are some of the most successful programmes on TV. Yes, yeah, so these days, um, now in the present, he writes and presents nature documentaries. Now, present, it's a verb, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It means to host or to introduce a show. That's right. But this word can also be a noun, present. So there the stress changes, just like progress and progress. That's right. So Josie, what are nature documentaries? Yeah, so a documentary is a TV programme or a film that shows real events and gives information about a topic. So David Attenborough's programmes are nature documentaries. They're about nature. And the public chose a particularly exciting scene from his series Planet Earth 2 as Britain's TV moment of the year in 2017. Yes, so the public, they, they chose. What's the infinitive of chose? It's to choose. That's right. So quite a lot of verbs follow a pattern where the vowel from the infinitive changes to a long O in the past simple. For example, choose, chose, or steal, stole, or speak, and spoke. And then in the past participle, they just add an E-N. So choose, chose, chosen. Steal, stole, stolen. OK, in the next sentence, we're going to find out about something that's very important to David Attenborough. Josie, what is conservation? Conservation is the act of saving and protecting the environment. And David Attenborough is passionate about preserving the planet. And he uses his position to spread the message that we need to take care of our planet. That's right. So he's passionate about preserving the planet. 
passionate is when you have very strong feelings or a strong belief about something. So, for example, at Coffee Break English, we are passionate about learning English. Okay, Attenborough has spent many years making amazing documentaries, and he truly cares about the work he does. Good. So he has spent many years. What's the infinitive of this irregular verb "spent"? It would be to spend. That's right. So it's quite similar.、Um, the infinitive and the past here, and there are quite a lot of verbs which work like this, where the infinitive just changes the d to a t. For example, send, sent, build, built, or lend and lent. Okay. He truly cares about the work he does. Is there another word for truly? Yes, we could say he really cares, or he genuinely cares. He cares a lot, basically. Okay, he is so legendary that if you ask any Brit for a list of national treasures, David Attenborough will almost certainly be near the top. Yes, so he's so legendary, he's so famous, and so important for many people. But if you ask any Brit, what's a Brit, Mark? A person from Great Britain. That's right. So we are Brits. And if you ask us for a list of national treasures, so they are people who are very important for a nation's cultural identity. And、uh, undoubtedly, David Attenborough. Will almost certainly be near the top of this list. That's right. I think so. And so do I. Okay, let's listen again to Susan reading this text, and hopefully now that we have gone through the text in more detail, you'll pick up on all of these interesting irregular past tense verbs. There's no doubt about it. David Attenborough is a legend in the UK, known for his distinctive. And instantly recognisable voice, he is an incredibly successful presenter and natural historian. His career has been long and impressive. Attenborough is the only person to have won BAFTAs for shows in black and white, colour, HD, 3D, and 4K. David is the younger brother of director, actor, and Jurassic Park star Richard Attenborough. However, he quickly rose to fame in his own right. At age twenty-four, he applied for a job at the BBC. He was rejected at first, but his CV caught the eye of an executive, and in 1952, he became a producer at the BBC and began his career. He soon presented his first show, a three-part series called Animal Patterns. The show focused on animals at London Zoo and taught people about their behaviour. Attenborough's career continued to progress from there. For a while, he was even director of programming for the BBC. These days, he writes and presents nature documentaries, and his projects are some of the most successful programmes on TV. The public chose a particularly exciting scene from his series. Planet Earth Two as Britain's TV moment of the year in 2017. Conservation is very important to David Attenborough. He is passionate about preserving the planet, and he uses his position to spread the message that we need to take care of our planet. Attenborough has spent years making amazing documentaries, and he truly cares about the work he does. He is so legendary that if you ask any Brit for a list of national treasures, David Attenborough will almost certainly be near the top. Thanks for listening to this episode of Coffee Break English. We hope this discussion of irregular past tenses has been useful for you. We'll be back next time. When we'll be taking a trip to Hollywood. Until then, make sure you check out our social media. You can find Coffee Break English on Instagram and on Facebook. And 
If you'd like to get the free lesson notes and vocabulary list for this episode, just go to coffeebreakenglish.com and sign up for free. That's all for this episode. See you again soon. See you next time.